What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here. Today I'm giving you 10 tips to help you make better Jeep videos. All right, so tip number one is use multiple angles. One thing I really hate in Jeep videos is when I just see someone standing there with one single shot, the frame never moves, it's just standing there for five minutes watching someone and now that is really boring and that won't make your Jeep videos awesome. So change up your shots, get high shots, low shots, look down, change it up, have some variety in your video. Tip number two to make better Jeep videos is stabilize your footage. I can't stand shaky footage. Use a gimbal, use a steady cam, use some kind of stabilizer. Keep the camera still. It's a lot easier for your viewer to see the action. You're not gonna make them seasick. I actually just made a video on five tips to help you get more stable footage in your Jeep videos, so I'll post a link to that up above so you should check that out. Tip number three, multiple cameras. GoPro, DSLR, cell phone. We have so much technology nowadays. Uh, you can use just your cell phone if you want to. If you have multiple different angles on the same shot, that allows you to edit and cut to different scenes a lot easier. Say I have my GoPro mounted up on the hillside, like in my last video. Uh, I can get that shot of Eric smashing his fender on the rocks where I was on the wrong side to get the shot with my DSLR. So it's really important that you can, if you can, afford to have multiple angles. Uh, some of the smaller entry level GoPros or you can get the knockoff GoPros, they are getting down there in price so you can pick one up pretty cheap. Just to have that second angle, uh, it really helps you out. The more footage you have, the better. Tip number four, now this may look a little different because I'm on my iPhone now instead of my DSLR here. Tip number four is to have good sound. Now this is the Rode Video Micro. Now this is a really great compact microphone. It can actually connect to your cell phone. You just need a, uh, a different cord. They have a gray one. Uh, that connects to your cell phone as well, so you can get that clean, crisp audio. Now you may be thinking, I'm gonna add music to the background so it doesn't matter. But if you tone down your music a little bit and have more of the ambient sounds of the motors running, you, your wheels crawling over the rocks, you're gonna get a more immersive experience and it's just gonna sound a whole lot better. So I recommend getting one of these Rode mics. Uh, they are a little pricey. You can get cheaper mics too. Some kind of microphone is going to help out your video quality that much better. Tip number five is if you're using a DSLR like the one I'm using right here, it's a Canon. Uh, this is my go-to camera. I shoot a lot of my videos on this. Uh, I use multiple cameras, but this is my go-to camera. I highly recommend getting a polarizer if it'll focus here getting a polarizer for your camera uh, polarizer or an ND filter is like a pair of sunglasses for your camera it allows you to get the correct balance of colors so your shots aren't gonna be blown out and you're gonna get a better quality image all right, I know I said I had 10 tips, but I actually teamed up with Crawl TV for this video, and they're gonna give you the, their five tips. I'll post the link in the description to their video, so you can go over and check out their channel if you haven't already. Go subscribe, go watch their five tips. My five tips and their five tips, I'm sure you can make some epic Jeep videos. Remember guys, stay bearded, stay Jeepin', I'm out.